Optimization in predictive analytics allows organizations to solve complex business problems, to achieve maximum results with minimum resources and a real world constraints. Let's start with Gartner's definition of optimization. Optimization is a type of prescriptive analytics that finds a best solution from a set of feasible solutions using a mathematical algorithm that maximizes or minimizes a specified objective function subject to constraints. Best is a value or KPI that is either maximized or minimized according to an objective. This could be as simple as a measure of profit or loss, but can be something more strategic or complex like a measure of risk. Where optimization really becomes valuable is being able to understand how to achieve the objective within the parameters of your business or real world constraints, making it a feasible solution. Let's take a look at the maturity of the business analytics disciplines that evolved according to the value they provide to business. Firstly, descriptive and diagnostic analytics. This is really traditional business intelligence or reporting, telling you what has happened in your business, what is working or not working. There have been advancements in this area with exciting new visual tools, making reporting available to business users to be alerted when KPI conditions are breached or met. Still, it is only providing hindsight. Predictive analytics provides more valuable insight. This can be a binary prediction of an event, for example, fraud, yes or no, but can also be more complex, like producing a score that represents the level of interest a customer may have in a product or service, or a level of risk associated with a customer engaging with a credit-based product or service. These measures of predicted customer behavior can be used to develop segmentation strategies, targeted marketing campaigns, and an understanding of risk. They are predictions and forecasting. But how do you operationalize these predictions? Today, the most value in analytics comes from the ability to align these predictions for the future with business action. It is key that the alignment supports the business objectives and any planning must also respect all the constraints. This is what we mean by optimization. It gives you a powerful tool to automate decisions in your business. It prescribes a course of action answering questions such as what should we do and what will happen when we do it. Analysts agree that the next trend in gaining value from analytics will be through optimization. Here we see that according to TDWI research, the value to be gained steadily increases as an organization matures its approach in analytics, from descriptive to diagnostic and predictive towards optimization and prescriptive analytics. This leads us to believe that optimization can add a lot of value to almost any business. The business of retail has many applications of optimization. In this example, we'll focus on the challenge of trying to balance inventory levels with projected sales demand. Retailers have a need to keep inventory lean, but also to satisfy customers with available stock, all the while maximizing gross margin. Based on predicted demand and outstanding inventory levels, prices need to be changed at regular intervals, or offers such as buy one get one free applied. Stores need to discount at the SKU level and also each store is different. Stores with too much inventory need to discount more than stores that are on track with predicted demand. With optimization, models can be built weekly to tell you what you will sell and at what speed and how you can influence this by discounting. Clearly the value of optimization is ensuring that balance is maintained continually and items or SKUs are only discounted when they need to be. Ensuring that inventories are kept lean, achieving full price when possible and avoiding costly eventualities of having to do dramatic markdowns at a store. The pricing strategy can be on a store level, but also a broader national level, ensuring that retailers only apply the right discounts in the right areas. Further areas where optimization adds value in retail include more accurate forecasting and improved customer loyalty, the ability to stock the right stores with the right products at the right time not only improves retailer performance, but in the case of fresh food produce, reduces waste and increasing focus in greener economies. Additionally, providing shoppers with the right offers in store and targeting them with appropriate marketing activities will result in improved loyalty. Angos offers both software and services. Our comprehensive software suite caters for data preparation, model building, visualization through our native charts and partnerships with Tableau and Flip, to model management. And Angos software is known for its easy to use graphical user interface and workflow. Within the Angos Analytics platform, our optimization application is Insight Optimizer, which allows users to perform optimization on model results from any analytical environment, 
to make the most of your resources and achieve the best ROI, to determine the best customer engagement strategy, to automate complex optimization coding, and to solve complex business problems. Inside Optimizer is a standalone application and can be used on top of whatever tools you're already using. And now if you're saying to yourself, this is great, but we don't have the in-house resources or knowledge to tackle this, Angles can help you there too with our range of professional services. Thank you for your interest. The full length optimization webinar is also available to view on demand. If you'd like to access it, click to open the link. Or to find out more, please contact us at sales at angos.com.